So guys, I was driving to the studio this morning to make this video about compression in Audition and Premiere Pro, and then I suddenly realized, you know what, a lot of people are actually anxious and scared and avoid compression because they're not quite sure what it's all about. So before heading to the studio, I thought I'd just pull over this morning on the way in and kind of explain to you roughly what it's about graphically in some woodlands. Come with me and I'll show you what I mean. Right, so before it blows away, this is my fine demonstration of what compression basically is. Imagine that is a waveform, okay? Imagine that's your sound wave. You've got something very, very loud here, very, very loud here, and quiet in the middle. All compression basically does is take that very loud bit there and that very loud bit there and make them roughly the same size so that your sound and audio is nice and even all the way through. It won't do away with the lightness and the variation of sound, it just makes it easier to listen to, it just makes it more cohesive. So the next time you're getting worried about compression, think of this stack of leaves. All it does is take the very, very loud at either end and just bring it all together to make one nice even sound wave. And that basically is what compression is. So having done a very rough demonstration out here, let's jump on over to the studio and show you how you actually go about compressing your audio now. And we're gonna start off in audition. Compressors get a really bad rap and there's no need. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to set a compressor up quickly and efficiently. And once you've learned it once, you can use it pretty much on any compressor. The compressor I'm gonna use here is one that comes with Audition and in Premiere Pro, and I'll show you that in a second too, where to find it. The reason I like it most, well, it sounds good, but also, and as importantly, it's got the main settings very much on the display panel for you to see, and it's got some great metering as well. So go into Amplitude and Compression and pull out the Tube Model Compressor. And here are the five basic parts that you need to learn to set up a compressor. You need to know how to set up threshold, the output gain, the ratio attack and release. And the first part of setting up a compressor is to get the ratio right. Kind of just eyeball your audio, see where the majority of the audio is, something around about minus 30-ish here, louder parts, minus 25-ish, something around there. So I'm gonna set a ratio of five to one. That's how you kind of gauge where your ratio needs to start. The next thing you need to do is to set the threshold, the point at which compression will kick in. So I'm gonna bring this slider down until I see on the louder parts of the audio that we've got a meter showing here around about five. If I just highlight that and play it through, we should then begin to play through. I'm gonna drag this down and get that compressor kicking in. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to set up a compressor using the five basic settings of any compressor. Threshold, ratio, output gain, attack, and release. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to set up a compressor using the five basic settings of any compressor. Threshold, ratio, output gain. And as you can see on the louder parts, it's kicking in at around about five. So we've set the ratio, we've set the threshold, the part or the point at which compression will kick in. That means that any time we go five decibels above our threshold of minus 33, there'll be one decibel at output and so on. If you go 10 decibels over, there'll be two decibels at output. That's how compression works, just making those louder bits quieter. So we've set up ratio and threshold. Now I'm gonna show you about attack and release. These are both scrubbable and the idea, certainly with spoken word, is a quick attack, quick release. I often leave it down as low as zero. You want it to kick in nice and quickly. I say if it was a musical session, it'd be different again. But speaking or the spoken word, you can kick in very, very quickly indeed. If I put in an attack of five, that's how quickly the compressor is going to pick or kick in when it detects as any loud audio. And again, I want a nice sharp release as well because I don't want it dragging out. I don't want there to be any slurring at the end. So maybe a release of 10, or 20 milliseconds, that's all you need. Attack and release are set and you'll begin to, well, if we just play that back, it shouldn't sound bad at all. Attack and release. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to set up a compressor using the five basic settings of any compressor. Threshold, ratio. Now, the last part we need to use or set up is the output gain. And simply put, the output gain is where we've made the volume quieter through compression, you wanna put some of that gain, some of that loudness back in. The easy way to do that is just to play the audio through with the compressor on and off, and then simply add in some gain to make sure it sounds the same. So I just play it through with it off, so output gain, attack, and release. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to set up a compressor using the five basic settings of any compressor. Threshold, ratio, output gain, attack, and release. I'm gonna show you how simple it is to set up a compressor using the five basic settings of any compressor. Threshold, ratio, output gain, attack, and release. 
Sounds good to me, so it sounds even now when you've got the compressor on or off, you couldn't really tell the difference in volume. And if I were now to hit apply, don't forget this is destructive editing in the waveform view, hit apply, and we should see those transients all now get compressed. And as you can see, it's done a good job if I show what it's like before. And then I hit apply again. You can see the work that it's done. It's flattened everything out and just made the audio that much neater. And the great thing is with Adobe, and that's another reason that I love Adobe using their range of Creative Cloud apps, is that over in Premiere Pro is exactly the same. If you go into the audio track mixer, go to amplitude and compression, bring out the tube model compressor, and in there you'll see it's exactly the same threshold, out gain, ratio, tack, release. You set it up in exactly the same way if you're working in a video project in Premiere as you would if you're working in an audio project in Audition. And just to explain to you what a limiter would do, because it is partly to do with compression, largely it's to do if it's going out for mastering or going out to CD or going out maybe to YouTube and you want to have a certain loudness. Say you really want to make sure that the audio is as loud as possible, but it never goes over a certain maximum amplitude. You would set that in there, say to minus three, and then you can bring up the input boost, adding in some loudness, but knowing that you're never going to clip and you're never going to go over the threshold or that limit that you've set as the maximum amplitude. That is what a hard limiter does. But there you go, hopefully now, you're not as worried or scared or daunted about using a compressor. It really doesn't need to be, just get that ratio set right to start with, and then the rest follows on naturally from there. You set your threshold to match your ratio, give it an attack, give it a release, which on spoken word is always gonna be quick, put a little bit of output gain in, and that's it, your track's compressed, ready to work on. Hope that has helped clear up what it's like setting up a compressor. See guys, I told you it really wasn't all that hard at all, was it? Just those five things you need to consider. Set your ratio first, that's where it all starts. Just eyeball your audio and get an idea of where you need to set that ratio at. After that, bring in your threshold. Once you've got those two working in tandem together, then you go on to your attack and release, which for a spoken word is always gonna be quick. You want it nice and sharp and punchy. Add in a little bit of output gain and you're done. You're ready then to get that project exported, uploaded to YouTube, sent out to Spotify, wherever it's gonna end up being. Your audio is gonna sound so much better once you've got a little bit of light compression running on it. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, make sure to turn on those notifications, get sub, drop a like if you've enjoyed it, and I'll be back with another video ever so soon indeed. I'll see you then.